everybody on earth comes from a common ancestor uh, a long time ago. Some of us more closely related than others. It also means that there may have been different hereditary lines that died out, but none of those very different hereditary lines are around today. For example, we and the uh, chimpanzees share in common 99.6% of our active genes. We were humans uh, 10,000 years ago and 100,000 years ago, and we didn't have any of that technology. So the technology can't be our defining characteristic. Uh, Annie and I uh, looked through the, uh, the very certain statements of all the great Western philosophers, Aristotle, Plato, Augustine, Aquinas, every one of them, and they all said there are unbridgeable gaps between us and the other animals. No matter what the chimps do, nothing forces us to behave as they do because we're a chimp. We're not chimps. We're people. Um, secondly, whatever predispositions we may have, we have other counterbalancing predispositions, compassion, altruism, self-interest. And uh, the thing, the, 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 one of the main messages that we took away from the study that led to uh, the writing of Shadows is this that we humans have contrary propensities. Yes, we have propensities towards sexism and racism and xenophobia and, and uh, dominance hierarchies and all that. But we also have propensities towards problem solving and compassion and love of children and all the rest of that. And these conflicting propensities, the working out of those propensities, is what the human condition is about and also is the key challenge of statecraft to evoke the propensities that are appropriate for our circumstances and to discourage the propensities that aren't. And that's why it's useful to know what the propensities in us are.